The EU is mapping out an energy strategy for 2050 to meet its goals of ensuring a secure and sustainable energy supply that meets its target of reducing greenhouse gas emissions 80 to 95 percent below 1990 levels. There are a number of options on the table, some long-term, some transitional, but all agree that massive investment is needed to ensure our energy future. But what focus should both industry and policymakers adopt to ensure targets are met? What we've outlined in the EU's energy roadmap is not a forecast, but what we believe is a, a necessary milestone on the way to uh, reducing emissions by 80 to 95 percent. Uh, 2050 is still far off. And I think what the European Commission has, has done rightly so is, is outlining the case, let's have a look at 2030. And we know where we want to be in 2050, but what have we do now, this decade and the next decade, uh, to get in, in really the most cost-effective way as well to 2030, fighting climate change while maintaining Europe's competitiveness and still have energy affordable uh, for our citizens. One of the things we find interesting about the Commission's roadmap is that any of the scenarios needs deep cuts in energy savings to be realistic for decarbonisation. In WWF's view, the share of renewable energy by 2050 could actually reach close to 100%. It just depends on whether or not we're willing to make the investments particularly in energy savings that permit uh, renewable energy to reach those high levels. I would say a 95% uh, power uh, system uh, renewables uh, aspiration for or target for 2050 uh, could be in a certain sense more optimal than saying 100% full stop and we will not accept any uh, even a cubic meter of, of gas in the system. I think the current recession might be a blessing in, in disguise uh, because uh, we are very much aware now of the, of the, of the budgetary constraints. Uh, we are very much aware of, of the need for Europe to be competitive. So that really makes uh, the, the, the energy policy uh, uh, vital as well. So uh, do we have cost-effective solutions? Do we go for, the, for, for low-cost solutions first, like shifting uh, from coal to gas, which is the lowest cost uh, solution of getting rid of a, of a lot of CO2? Despite the fact that we've had this difficult economic environment, we saw renewable energy, photovoltaics and wind last year uh, jump up and, and were the largest form of, of electricity generation installed in 2011. One of the best ways to engage the public is to come across to them with a program that shows you mean business. The way we consume energy, the way we behave, the way we think about it, as a whole element of, of responsible uh, uh, consumer, uh, being a responsible consumer of energy is, is extremely important. Buildings consume about 40% of our energy and responsible for corresponding greenhouse gas emissions. And in fact, if we were able to create much more efficient buildings to have the goal of close to zero energy using buildings, then we would free up in particular heat demand, which would mean we would use far fewer fossil fuels to heat our homes and our businesses. Voilà, Damien Carnois, donc je suis l'architecte de ce bâtiment, qui est le premier bâtiment passif éco-construit, donc tout à fait écologique en région bruxelloise. Il est construit entièrement en bois. The European Union has set extremely ambitious targets for 2050 when it comes to buildings. So what they have aimed at is an 80% reduction in GHG um, emissions but in the building stock by 2050. And we have to take into consideration that a lot of that is with new build, but also with existing stock, because a lot of the houses that are standing today will still be standing in 2050. Là, on a un exemple de réalisation de, de bâtiments neufs. Le, le plus gros, euh, le, le, la, la, la plus grosse difficulté qui nous attend à horizon 2050, en fait, est de généraliser ce niveau de performance, y compris sur des bâtiments existants. As, as we all know at home, uh, there's a great case to be made uh, for better insulation, uh, to, to be more efficient uh, in, and, and to use less uh, electricity and, 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 and to lose, use less oil or gas uh, or electricity for heating as well. The public has to be engaged in a project that is trying to achieve ambitious goals. If you're talking about 95% carbon cuts, large amounts of renewable energy, everybody has to be part of that dialogue. And to be credible and, and to engage the public, you have to actually go for it. Meeting 2050 targets will take a multifaceted approach, and clearly the responsibility doesn't lie only with the power industry, but with many other industrial sectors, and indeed, the individual. Have your say at commentvisions.com.
on LinkedIn and via Twitter.